Hi, my name is Olia Gavrish. I'm program manager on .NET team at Microsoft. And in this video, I will show you how you can port your WinForms or WPF applications to .NET Core in three easy steps. For my demo, I went to WinForms tutorial samples and I picked the most popular one called Picture Viewer. Let's take a look at it. You can set the background color here. You can set the background picture. Now you can clear and close it. So it's a pretty simple application and I'll show you how you can port it to .NET Core. The first step in your migration story is to run Portability Analyzer that will show you how compatible your code is with .NET Core 3. I will provide the link to the blog post where you can download Portability Analyzer. And once you do, run executable and provide the path to the code you would like to port to .NET Core. So I'm going to find my picture viewer here. I will click Analyze, and once Analyzer is done, I'll see Open Report button. Once I click on that button, I can see the compatibility report, where it shows how compatible each assembly is with .NET Core 3. If you have 100% compatibility highlighted in green, that means you're good to go. If the compatibility is less than 100%, you need to do further investigation. So in my case, once I look at assembly names, I realize it's not actually my code that is not fully compatible. That is a NuGet package I'm using and unit. So to make sure everything is going to work fine once I move it to core, I will go to NuGet.org find this package and see if they provide support for .NET Core. So here in supported platforms, I can see .NET Core listed, which means that I don't have to worry about this line in my portability report. Everything is taken care of for me. Other than that, I don't have anything that is less than 100% compatible. But if you do, go to Details tab and see which APIs from .NET Framework you're using in your code that are not included in .NET Core 3. If you have those APIs, you need to either avoid using them in order to be able to port to Core, or you can substitute them with APIs that are available in .NET Core. So once you get your portability report 100% compatible, except for NuGet packages, you can go to Visual Studio and your application. Okay, step two in your migration journey is to upgrade your project file to new SDK style format. If you created your application for .NET Framework and you did not touch your project file, it has the old format. To ensure it is so, you can right click on your project on your project and see if you can find edit your project file name .csproj here. I cannot see it. I have to unload the project first. Only then I will be able to see edit picture viewer .csproj. And once I look inside, I see a very large XML file that has properties like project GUID and so on. All that tells me that I have old style of the project file. And in order to migrate to .NET Core, I first need to upgrade project uh, file to the new SDK style. To do that, I will reload the project and look for packages.config file in my solution explorer. You might not have this file, then just skip this step. But if you do have it, right click and choose migrate packages.config to package reference. What this will do, it will take information on the packages that you're using from the packages.config file to your project file. Let's make sure that happened. I'm going to unload the project again, look inside, go all the way down. And here you can see the reference to an unit now lives here, which is great. It means we will not lose it when we port to SDK style project file. So now I'm going to select everything from the project file, put it somewhere in the notepad, for example, then delete it all from the Visual Studio. And instead of that large XML, I'm going to 
insert just those eight lines. This is the new SDK style project file. It's much smaller and nicer to use. You can find those eight lines in the blog post, or you can just simply create a new WinForms application that targets .NET Core and look in the project file, copy and paste everything. If you are porting WPF application, create a new WPF application that is targeting .NET Core. So besides those eight lines, our project file has information on our dependencies. That is uh, package references and project references. To, to not lose them, I will look at my old project file and here I will search for package references. And I'm going to copy the entire item group and insert it in my project file. I will do that for every package reference that I find. In my case, it's just one. And in my case, application has only one project that does not depend on any other projects. But if you do have other dependencies, do the same procedure for project references. So search for project reference, copy and paste everything in your new project file. Once this is done, reload your project and rebuild your solution. So what we just did, we updated our project file to new SDK style format. Let's make sure we did not break the application in the middle. Seems that everything is working. So we can move to step three. Step three is porting to .NET Core itself. And it's very simple now to do that. You just click on your project you can notice that now project file opens automatically. You don't need to unload your project to be able to edit project file. Here, find target framework property and update this value to netcore app 3.0. Save everything, rebuild and run. So we just retargeted our project from .NET Framework to .NET Core. Let's make sure it works. And it does. So we just ported a simple application from .NET Framework to .NET Core. For more advanced scenarios, we will have another video where we'll show how to port WPF application that has dependencies on WCF server and other third-party packages. Thank you very much for watching and happy porting.